In today's video, I'll be talking about the best hand cannon in the energy slot, which is the Not Forgotten. Some of you may be familiar with this gun, that's because you obtain it from the competitive playlist by reaching the maximum rank of 5500. There really is a lot to talk about in this video, so I'm going to be talking real fast, so excuse me if the gameplay ends up being a little subpar. So first we're going to start off with the mod slot. You can run pretty much anything you want, though because it's a precision frame, it has inherent Icarus, so you don't have to use an Icarus grip. Right there you see the perk in action, the perk is called Magnificent Howl, and by landing two consecutive headshots, the next shot will have more range. I'll quickly talk about the history of Not Forgotten. It originally started off as a 180 RPM hand cannon. I really wish that would have hit. A 180 RPM hand cannon, where the Magnificent Howl perk allowed for two headshots, and the Magnificent Howl would activate, and the third shot would be an extremely powerful headshot of over 100 damage until somebody dies. Now it's a 150 RPM hand cannon where Magnificent Howl functions as a range extender, not a extra damage option. That is why I put a hipfire mod on this gun. Gonna opt for the rift right now. Five bullets, I'm gonna reload. Somebody will come around the corner. In the midst of this hand cannon range nerf, the Not Forgotten performs the best. Because by just landing headshots, you can fight someone way further than you should. My rule of thumb is if you see 55 damage, that's when you pursue the triple headshot. If you see less, you know you're going to four tap, so if you don't have time to four tap, you should start backing away. What I've been doing with this hip fire mod is putting two headshots in and immediately go into the hip so I get my radar back while securing the kill. And it really, really helps situational awareness. It's nice being able to have a gun that fires accurately from the hip and accurately from the air. I have a lot to talk about in terms of how I think the gun should be buffed. I don't want to use this. He uses Devour. I use Handheld Supernova. I could have used Power there, but like I said, I don't really want to use Power in Rumble. I said that yesterday. Just because it makes it kind of unfun. I do think power should be there, it's just a little too frequent. It needs to keep people out of the back of the map. Shut the enemy down. I might be able to chaperone this guy. Okay, I could have chaperoned that guy if I hit a headshot. Two seconds. It's not going to repeak. I have to go for this. Got him. I'll let you read the perk. He had all the opportunity to hit the shot there. Luckily I got the kill with Dark Matter, so that cools down my rift, because that's the whole reason I'm using this subclass today. I could shoot his hand. Yeah, in that ripped animation, I was trying to shoot his hand once I missed the shot. That would have totally worked. Alright, so I can just chill here until my rift's ready. There's a great place to place it, because I have three angles to choose from. So that's Sunshot versus my Not Forgotten. I think I can do it. Next. Oh, he has a Ganora's Axe! I thought he had a regular shoddy. I got outplayed there. I was just trying to find his head. Uh, in Rumble, I like to spec people's loadout before the match starts to get a good indication of what they have. I did not do that this time. So, the only way to find that out is to peek and get shit on. So, that happened. I'm not disappointed. Fight me. 
Oh, he's out? Alright, well, I need a handheld supernova, this guy. Because it'll give me some energy back. Because I really want to use my rift. I'll save my opinions on this gun for after the match. But this one still gives you a really good indication as to how the gun plays out. Um, one of the big reasons to use Not Forgotten is actually the Chaperone. Because think about it. For kinetic shotgun options, you don't really have access to the quick draw perk, which is borderline necessary for some players in this game. Uh, quick draw is a really good mistake fixer, so if you enter an engagement with your hand cannon out instead of your shotgun, you still have time to switch to your shotgun after some hand cannon in initial damage. So like, hand cannon shot, switch weapon, shotgun shot. Blink, there it goes. Blink again, there it goes. That it, I don't, I don't agree with that. I'm out. No, you know what? We'll chaperone him. Chaperone both of them. Walk around the corner. Oh, if I would have hit him right there, I would have. <laughs> what did five fingers say to the face? <laughs> I'm sure some of you Chappelle fans out there understand that. Okay, so now opinion time. Or actually, let me finish the shotgun tangent. So in the kinetic slot, you don't really have access to an aggressive frame with quick draw like you would in the energy slot with the Mindbender's Ambition. What you do have is an analog to the Badlander. So you have rapid fire frames. I'll show you which two right now since the game ended. What is it? Collections, weapons, shotgun. All right, so these are the two shotguns that can get it. One small step, which you can get from the moon. You can get quick draw and one two punch. And there's also the threat level, which exists from Scourge of the Past. You can get quick draw and surrounded. Slide shot is probably the next best thing on both of those shotguns. I personally right now am farming for a one small step with either quick draw one two or quick draw slide shot. Once I get that, I'll probably be using the not forgotten a lot more because I feel kind of grimy using it with the chaperone because of how effective it is compared to everything else. This is most certainly a top tier loadout. And then, whenever I encounter a map that's a little bit further range, I'd be switching to this pulse rifle because it actually does phenomenally. And then, if I get max range, I could go with like an even longer range pulse rifle. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Where is it? Right side or wrong is what it is. You can get one of these with like Acherize rounds, range finder, and I believe firmly planted with a long range scope. If you have all those perks together, it is basically a scout rifle. So, a map like Eternity would play out perfectly with that, but I'm going to stick with the Not Forgotten for Posterity. So now the gameplay is going to go to absolute garbage, because I'm talking about my opinions on the gun. Rumble. I think it should still be a 180 RPM with the capacity to 3-tap. It doesn't have to hit as much damage as it did before, the perk could be completely reworked. What made Not Forgotten phenomenal is that it was a shotgun counter on its own. Repeak. Yeah, there we go. One of the defining features that separated a good not forgotten user from a bad one was spam control. A lot people a lot of people would do this right here. And if they uh got the perk, they would lose it instantly because they're still shooting the body after they die instead of pacing your shots that I'm going to try to pace so that you can put the kill shot in the next person who walks around the corner. Or so you can get half of a Magnificent Halproc and finish it on the next person. So I'm really going to do a good job of pacing my shots here to show that it is indeed a skill. Would be proud of you, I'm blinking towards this way because I think someone's going to come around the corner with a pulse or a scout rifle or something. So that right there would have been what I consider pacing shots had it been a headshot, but I missed. So that's like the one thing you can do to separate yourself from the pack. Uh, there is a glitch right now with the Not Forgotten where it three taps at absurd distances. I'm not jawing, I'm serious. There's no way that's going to hit across. 
I cannot believe that hit him. Or killed him from that far. There we go. I got some energy back. Three tap. And then right here. That would be the kill. Think about that. That would have been a kill with the old not forgotten. And if any other player did that, I would see this. I'd see, oh no. Then they'd get the Maghal proc and just drop it. So I was a little disappointed when it got nerfed because there was such a skill gap to the weapon. So had I had a... Uh, I'll show you right here. Let me, he's not going to peek again. So if I have Mag Hill right here and another person walks across the hall, they would get two tapped. Maybe not from that far, but they would still get two tapped if they were within distance. I really hope that drives the point home about why I thought this weapon was amazing. I got flinched to hell right there, and that's a last word. You don't beat a last word within 20 meters. You don't. That was another reason the Not Forgotten as a 180 was so good. Here, I'm going to show you what I mean. In case you didn't know. So a last word drops off at 20 meters. A trackless waste of machine gun drops off at 20 meters. An Antiope drops off around 27. So it's still pretty effective within that 30 meters. The last word doesn't really care about drop off because it has a faster rate of fire. So you can equalize your time to kill with a lot of hand cannons by just spamming body shots even. Like that right there is fantastic distance for the last word. That's the far end. Here, I want to challenge him from this far with the rift. I know it's a Luna Faction rift, but still. Three body shots. <laughs> I'm still going to challenge whole week. Last word does not care. It does not care. It is the easiest gun to use in the game. Controller, mouse and keyboard, maybe an unpopular opinion, may hurt to hear, but it really is the easiest gun in the game. You just spam it. This is why I think Not Forgotten should return to a 180, or the last word should not be able to do this. Uh, actually try to hit body shots only there. There we go. It should not be able to do that. That's how bad, uh, that's how crazy this gun is on aim assist. I try to hit the body shot and it still goes for the head. I'm going to do another four tap from the body right here. And then turn around and do it again. Again. I tried, he jumped. So at the high level, when you start playing really good opponents in this game, the game dilutes to just the last word and a sniper or a shotgun. It really does because it, it is, like I said, one of the easiest guns to use in the game. Very low risk, very, very, very high reward. This is post-commentary Cammy speaking now, and live commentary isn't really good for gathering your thoughts in a concise manner. Usually it just leads to a lot of rambling, so I've taken some time to really think about what I want to say next. My opinion on the matter is that Not Forgotten used to be the key to at least some semblance of balance. You would use Last Word up close, where you could 3-tap somebody at lightning speed, or kill them in 4 body shots. I'm not really happy about the 4 body shot aspect to that, but it was the close range option. The Not Forgotten was the medium range option, where you could skillfully acquire 2 headshots and then take advantage of the Magnificent Howl perk. Because it was a 180 RPM hand cannon capable of 3-tapping, you could shut down shotgun users pretty decently. Now, finally, the Ace of Spades rounded out the trio by being the go-to long-range option that had nearly every perk in the game, as well as Third Eye so you could scout rifle your hand cannon, hold the sights down, and close off lanes. I'd like to see one of the following two options happen in the future to better reach a state of balance. Either the last word gets nerfed, the recluse gets nerfed, and everything lives in harmony, where the Magnificent Howl perk no longer bugs out and just works as a range extender on a 150 RPM version of it. Or the second option, which doesn't really require a last word nerf or a recluse nerf, you just make Not Forgotten what it used to be, except its headshot damage is like 90 to 95 damage, so that as long as you're landing three consecutive headshots within range, you get the three tap.
In this scenario, the Ace of Spades would fall a bit behind the trio, so I'd like to see the Ace of Spades get something back in return for losing high caliber rounds. I am definitely making the argument that high caliber rounds needs to go on everything. I'm not 100% sure what Ace of Spades should get back. Maybe it should be it only loses half of its Memento Mori bullets on a weapon swap instead of all of them. But that overall is just my thoughts on the matter. Let me know in the comment section what you have to add to the conversation or what you think about what I said. Be respectful. These are opinions, of course. Everybody has one. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one.